नमस्कार मैं आनंद कुमार खत्री एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर ऑफ जूलॉजी गवर्नमेंट डूंगर कॉलेज बीकानेर आज के हमारे लेक्चर का विषय है लिथोस्फीयर पार्ट सेकंड द इंटीरियर मोर देन नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ अर्थ मास इज कंपोज ऑफ आयरन ऑक्सीजन सिलिकॉन एंड मैग्नीशियम एलिमेंट that can form the crystalline mineral known as silicates nevertheless in chemicals and mineralogical composition as in physical properties earth is far from homogeneous apart from the superficial lateral differences near the surface that is in the composition of the continental and oceanic crust earth principal differences vary with distance towards the center this is due to increasing temperature and pressures and to the original segregation of material soon after earth accreted from the solar nebula about 4.56 billion year ago into a metal rich core a silicate rich mantle and the more highly refined crystal rocks earth is geochemically differentiated to a great extent crystal rocks contain several times as much as of the rock forming element aluminum as does the rest of the solid earth and many dozen of time as much uranium on the other hand the crust which accounts for a mere 0.4% of earth's mass contain less than 0.1% of its iron between 85% and 90% of earth's iron is concentrated in the core the increasing pressure with depth causes phase charge changes in crystal rocks at depths between 5 and 50 km 3 and 30 miles which marks the top of the upper mantle as mentioned above this transition area is called as the mohorovic discontinuity or moho most basaltic magmas are generated in the upper mantle at depths of hundreds of kilometers the upper mantle which is rich in the olivine and pyroxene and silicate pyroviscite minerals with so significant lateral differences in composition a large fraction of earth's interior from a depth of about 650 400 miles down to 2900 1080 miles consist of the lower mantle which is composed chiefly of magnesium and iron bearing silicates including the high pressure equivalents of olivine and pyroxene the mantle is not static but rather churns slowly in connective motions and with hotter material rising up and cooler material shrinking though through this process early gradually loses its internal heat in addition to being the driving force of horizontal plate motion mental convection is manifested in the occurrence of temporary superplumes huge rising jets of hot partially molten rocks which may originate from a deep layer near the core mantle interference much larger than ordinary thermal plumes such as that associated with the hawaiian island chains in the central pacific volcano interplate volcanism superplumes may have had profound effect on earth's 
geologic history and even on its climate. On outburst of global volcanism about 66 million years ago, which created the vast flood basalt deposits known as the Deccan. Traps on the Indian subcontinent plateau may have been associated with a superplume through though this model is far from universally accepted with a radius of about 3500 kilometer 2200 miles earth's core is about the size of the entire planet mars about one third of earth mass is contained in core most of which is iron liquid iron alloy with nickel and some lighter cosmetically cosmically abundant component example sulfur oxygen and controversially even hydrogen its liquid nature is revealed by the failure of shear type seismic waves to penetrate the core a small central part of the core however below a depth of about 5100 kilometer 3200 miles is solid iron this inner core is itself divided into two layers known only by the polarity differences of the iron crystals found within them the polarity of the iron crystals of the innermost layer is oriented in an east-west direction whereas most of the outermost layer is oriented north-south. Temperature in the core are extremely hot ranging from 4000 to 5000 Kelvin roughly 6700 to 8500 degree Fahrenheit. At the outer part of the core to 5000 to 7000 Kelvin, 8500 12100 Fahrenheit in the center at comparable to the surface of the sun. Large uncertainties in temperature arise from question as to which component from alloy with iron in the core and more recent data favor the lower end of the temperatures estimates for the inner core the core reservoir of heat may contribute as much as one fifth of all the internal heat that ultimately flows to the surface of earth the basic structure of earth crust mantle and core appears to be replicated on the other terrestrial planets through though with substantial variation in the relative size of each region the geomagnetic field and magnetosphere helical fluid motion in earth's electrically conducting liquid outer core have an electromagnetic dynamo effect giving rise to the geomagnetic field the planet's sizable hot core along with its rapid spin probably account for the exceptional strength of the magnetic field of earth compared with those of the other terrestrial planet venus for example which has a metallic core that may be similar to the earth's side rotates very slowly and has no detected intrinsic magnetic field mercury and mars have only small intrinsic magnetic field earth's main magnetic field 
permeates the planet and an enormous volume of space surrounding it a great teardrop shaped region of space called the magnetosphere is formed by the interaction of earth's field with the solar wind at a distance of about 65000 km outward towards the sun the pressure of the solar wind is balanced by the geomagnetic field and this serves as an obstacle to the solar wind and the flow of charged particle or plasma is deflected around earth by the resulting bow shock the magnetosphere so produced streams out into an elongated magneto tail that stretches several miles million kilometers downstream from earth away from the sun plasma particle from the solar wind can leak through the magneto pause the sun world boundary of the magnetosphere and populate its interior charged particles from the earth's ionosphere also enters the magnetosphere the magneto tail can store for hours an enormous amount of energy several billion megajoules which is roughly equivalent to the yearly electricity production of many smaller countries this occurs through a process called reconnection in which the sun's magnetic field dragged into interplanetary space by the solar wind becomes linked with the magnetic field in earth's magnetosphere the energy is released in dynamic structural reconfiguration of the magnetosphere called geomagnetic substorms which often result in the precipitation of energetic particles into the ionosphere giving rise to fluorescing aerosol display converging magnetic field lines fairly close to earth can trap highly energetic particles so that they gyrate between the northern and southern hemisphere and slowly drift longitudinally around the planet in two concentric donut shaped zone known as the wall and radiation belt many of the charged particle trapped in these belts are produced when energy tick cosmic rays strike earth's upper atmosphere producing neutron that then decay into electron which are negatively charged and proton which are positively charged other than other comes from the solar wind or earth atmosphere the inner radiation belt was detected in 1958 by the american scientist physicist james von allen and colleagues using a giger muller counter aboard aboard the first us satellite explorer the outer belt was distinguished by the us and soviet spacecraft launched the same year earth's magnetosphere has been extensively studied ever since and space physicists have extended their study to plasma processes of the to the vicinity of comets and other planets for additional information on the interaction of the suns and earth charged particle and magnetic field an important characteristics of earth's magnetic field is polarity reversal in this process the direction of the dipole component reverses that is the north magnetic pole becomes the south magnetic pole and vice versa from studying the direction of the magnetization of many rocks geologists know that such reversal occurs without a discernible pattern at intervals that 
range from tens to ten of thousand of year to million of years though they we are still uncertain about the mechanism responsible it is likely that during the change over which is believed to take a few thousand years a no dipolar field remains at a small fraction of the strength of the normal field in the temporary absence of the dipole component the solar wind would approach much closer to earth allowing particles that are normally deflected by the field or are trapped in its outer portion to reach the surface the increase in particle radiation could lead to increased rate of genetic damage and thus of mutation or sterility in plants and animals leading to the disappearance of some species scientists have looked for evidence of such changes in the fossil record at time of past field reversals but the results have been inclusive thanks